All right, hello everyone. This is a, uh, I guess I could call it a continuum. Um, I might link the original video in the description, so check that. A lot of different uh, <laughs> zodiac signs. Libra, Libra's um, July reading was next. I'm gonna tell you, Libra's, would this be your sun, moon, rising, Venus? Mm, there's some big family stuff. There's the anger. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I want to get into it. So maybe a warning. Some of these songs are uh, very, very harsh. This is some deep, harsh, true stuff with the family. So it ended, the previous video ended Aries card, Ten of Swords. So dealing with Aries, that's your opposite even, whatever. I see 1, 7, and 17 spotlighted there too, and 14. Hmm, the 14th. Um, there's also the 725. Um, 5, 7. Hmm. Anyways, Aries. So I'm putting kind of all the different signs. I'm just going to see how I'm guided. Uh, maybe you have Aries in your chart or you're dealing with them. The f the next card after, so the Ten of Swords was in reverse, and I see like the geese even. Uh, so that's like, it's done. It's a done thing. It's over. It's done, done. And that's what I was really sensing. This is like a final thing with some friends and family. Okay. However, there is an apology. Either ask for it, there might be Pisces energy. Um, heart shaped box by Nirvana, you know, the cancer energy is sitting right here, right? We got the moon sign, ah, uh, 414 for some of those Aries, but maybe you have a cancer, it's a moon, but these emotions, they've been like pulled, blocked or something or, uh, not been revealed. So this is getting into that deep truth. So like I said, this might be trigger warning. Uh, Libra is actually dealing with other Libras, um, so Libra in specific, um, me personally, no offense to anybody who's listening, but I personally, uh, there's a lot of Libras that I don't ever want to freaking see again. How about that? That's saying it nicely. Uh, and, but I'm going to warn you. That some of the music that I might share uh, <laughs> is triggering, but it's truthful of truthful emotions uh, and and things like that. And I think that that is uh, you got the outside. There's a lot of suicidal stuff. Um, so, like I said, this is a uh, this might be trigger warning for some of the Libras. Um, and it's, it could definitely be Libra dealing with other Libras, Libra dealing with Capricorns, Libra dealing with the Cancer sign. We also got the Leos in here with this one. And there's very much Taurus energy, a lot of Taurus, and some Sagittarius. Okay? Other than that, this ain't for you. So, let's continue on with the Tarot. I'm going to go to the Cancer first, right? So, either you have this in your chart, or you... Uh, you know, it's part of your home, family. We're in cancer season. Uh, me personally, it's my 10th house career sector. That So a lot of with Libra risings, that's going to be, you're gonna, seen as like a mother, nurturing mother. So Danzig, mother. There's your song. Let's start. Then we got some Black Sabbath. <laughs> Fairies wear boots and Aussie. Um, KMFDM boots are made for walking so that's like the jessica simpson song too so there was definitely there's there's names there's letter there's j's h's and k's for initials a lot of h's triple h um jack and jill went up the hill oh boy and there was definitely mike uh nikki the ends were there too. Nate, uh, Alice, uh, Alice Cooper, Wind Up Toy, <sighs> Billy, Billy Eilish's copycat, and Bury a Friend. 
Uh, hmm. And um, Suicidal Tendencies, the band, send me your money. <laughs> this might have stuff to do with religious stuff. We got Ministry, The Ministry. We also got Deftones, Shove It, My Own Summer, um, Mascara, something about the tattoos, a lot about tattoos, not liking other people, not liking tattoos, whatever. King of Wands in reverse. Damn. Okay. Whether that be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, I don't know. This is the anger. Angry, masculine, reptile, nine inch nails. We also got the Undertaker. I got some weird like wrestling stuff, like WWE, WWH, something like that. Fire. Ooh, the outsider. So when I talk about perfect circle as well, perfect circle and you know the bands, and I think of so Maynard, I know is Aries energy. <laughs> so sometimes that's kind of also spotlights the different bands. We got something about the KMFDM joint jukebox Jezebel. And Jess, Jessica, Jamie, the Jays, James. Mm. All right, here we go. Cancer. Oh, so much fire, guys. Okay, so... um. King and queen. Queen's upright. Look at this. Okay, okay. I like this. So, the noose as well. Whether this be a uh, Leo energy or uh, Aries or a Sagittarius. She's up in her power. The bearded dragon. Lovely. Nine of swords. Up all night. Up all night. Sleep all day. Might be some Capricorn in this chart as well. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of study late at night. Um, can't sleep. Ooh, Danzig. Mm, can't speak. Mm, I'm just what, looking at her. This could be someone else if you're dealing with a... I don't know why I'm pulling this as a Capricorn energy, sleepless nights. But this is like... There's so much going on. Maybe staying up really late just reading books, studying. This is an interesting nine of swords. It doesn't look like lots of anxiety. It's just like a night owl, you know? Okay. Um, for some reason, I split the deck like that. I don't even... So, Aries, that was kind of spotlighted. We also have Leo. Like I said, there was some Sagittarius. For the most part, the Sagittarius pretty good mood. Except for that Billie Eilish song, you know? She, she wanted to end herself. So, whatever going on with that, she is Sag. Lovers. Oh, so, would there be any Gemini energy? Oh, this is a cool card. The Knight of Wands. More of that fire energy. But this is about not feeling love. Something broken. This could be dealing with a, a lover. A Cancer could be. You know, this is what I'm telling you. This lover stuff. It's also like the family. No way. The moon in reverse twice. This is not revealing these true emotions. Someone not revealing the true emotions. Look, moon, moon. So Pisces or Cancers with this particular. Coming in, taking action. Maybe Libra is coming in. Um, they want to collaborate, work together with you. This is coming in quickly. And it could be actually a Leo energy, right? At Leo, um, it's that shift. I see 725. Uh, Libra Leo collaborating the air signs so it could be other air signs involved as well two five so Aquarius um the seven 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 maybe something happens on seven twenty five seven seven in July working together collaborating even it could be Gemini energy but I'm putting that right by all the air signs wanting to collaborate work together um about this wisdom maybe about structure um the Jupiter the wisdom so, I'm just flowing them through at this point. Um, I will get fairy tarot with this. And, uh, I don't know. So, Libras, just so you know, the Libras that are watching, 
this is not a, your specific July reading. This is kind of like a side thing. A side thing. Nine of coins, a side gig, eh? You got some extra coins. Collaborating, working it with others. See, this abundance wisdom. This is extra. Like having an... Um, to be able to spend uh, maybe on a trip or building something. You're building something. Four of coins. Now we're talking about the monies, the material, the wealth. I see the squirrel being prepared. This is about your home, right? This is sometimes kind of hoarding. That's hoarding this money, even though there's extra nine, four Virgo energy. Oh, there was Virgo here too, right? Where was the Virgo? Virgo's right here. Yep. Okay. Okay. So Virgo in this one too. Maybe there is um, Capricorn in your chart as well. The 19th is spotlighted. I see 419 again. So much Aries energy to Virgo. 619. Maybe something in June. Okay. This is um, filling in a lack mentality. Like you got to save, 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 save. Even though there's a whole bunch of extra. There's that depression. There's that sadness. There's that anxiety, that fear. Learn to swim. Anemia. <laughs> Anema. This is this fear anxiety look the water like the flood flooding the flood the floods oh damn being prepared okay so that's the depression um nine of cups uh not getting your wishes fulfilled feeling like you did not get uh your wishes fulfilled the octopus is in this one not getting your wishes fulfilled Wow, the five nine. Is this Taurus? You guys are dealing with Taurus. I don't have Taurus on the board. Um, but there was a lot of Taurus energy. Okay, uh institution, institutionalized. There's like some of you so Libras, Cancers, mm, maybe Leos, I mean Virgos even. Um, Tauruses. I feel like, I mean, there's that uh, <laughs> mental health stuff that people put themselves in with the depression, the suicide, the anxiety, whatever. The uh, institution, like your family forcing it even. There is daddy issues, by the way. Daddy won't discuss me. What a stain I must be. Hmm. Mommy couldn't stand. There's something with the family. Like I said, the family. Breaking free from their dynamics. Someone's not getting their wishes fulfilled. Jane. Sweet Jane. Uh, the Wisdom of Trees Oracle. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe uh the Tom Tom yep Tom was there too, um. Tom, because there was karma police. We also got Chris with a K, and we got KRS one hush, hush. Okay. Maybe I will get the wisdom of the trees. Okay, I don't know. No, someone does not want to be a fool. Does not. So dealing with the Aries energies, with even Leo. There's. So like I said, if you don't watch the first one, I am going to flow through it. It just stopped. So that's also another, the warning. Nine Inch Nails. We heard her cry. <laughs> Libras are like karma police. Someone's lying. Doing shit they're not supposed to do, even though we don't have that. But that's the sense. And this thing with the family, all in the family, there's this hatred between. And um, it doesn't have to be like siblings. I mean, whatever it is, it's it's uh, cousins, aunts, neighbors, neighbors. Maybe you live next to your freaking family. I don't know. Um, there is the hatred. There's a Virgo energy. I don't even know. John, Brian, Kevin, um, I don't know who the H's are though, 
Heidi. Heather. Holly. Thank you. Okay, here we go. The Fool. We're not taking the Emperor. So, boss man. So, Aries masculine not going to be full. Look, look, this is gross. Okay, so... So Aries masculine is the emperor here and the fool. So very strongly, like taking control, not the fool anymore. Growth, standing strong, got a plan, giving guidance and direction, seeing a higher perspective. Okay, so if Leo's, because this is a sun sign, Leo and Aquarius energies over here with this Aries that's what I'm flowing it through. Not going to be a fool anymore. Someone felt very wounded, like they had to protect themselves. And then we've got this, uh, there's that Pisces, that watery energy. I like the seahorse right there. But this is a younger energy coming in, watery, compassion, loving, apologizing even. or So these are good. This is my empress, maybe emperor and empress here. Right? Four of Swords, done with resting and healing. There was a time of needing to uh, heal from that heartbreak energy. Um, maybe someone's apologizing to Empress energy here. We got uh, Capricorn is in reverse here. So maybe it is Capricorn feeling knocked off or vice versa. There's also Taurus, Libra, and Gemini with that. But there's this Pisces loving, compassionate thing too. And done with resting or healing. See, it's over. The 10-4. 10 6 4 10 those are the something you didn't someone didn't receive any gift they're not they end because it was an ending i think someone didn't get a, a raise or get a job or receive a gift because things are done like there is betrayal backstabbing things like that lindsay um there was another one set it off wolf in sheep's clothing with William Beckett, um, that song, look it up, maybe you know it, it's about uh, someone getting uh, the sun, so someone's getting this, this clarity, because they've done this healing, maybe there was a time of being in a, a hospital, or at least resting, healing, and now they feel you know, the apology, the compassion comes through, even seeing the light, the sun, this is the Leo card, this is that breaking out of the uh, cocoon, the sun, so Leo's, right, Leo and Aries, wow. Mercury, the communication comes through, and it shines a light, gives clarity, the high priestess, so the Virgo energy has got this card but this is flowing over here by trusting that intuition this communication even this compassion taurus energy with this too i see the god the moon this is the sacredness even that meditation the magician this is good i like i'm just letting this flow out like this i hope you guys can see it okay paying attention what are we on time 1840 1840 back in my day <laughs> just kidding so this is wow so aries gemini one one even that capricorn energy right but taking this brand new action one one that's the 11 even online with an aquarius but manifesting so this gemini energy coming through to manifest gemini gemini is pulling with this there was some juggling with finances. There could have been juggling, and that's with a lover, even with a cancer. Um, oh, another Libra. Um, Gemini and Cancer. See, someone, there was juggling. Bear. Watering. The foot. Bear. The bears and the bees. The world. This is even juggling what to do. This is a whole new world. And someone's not sharing that, not letting that on. This is an, like I said, it's it's over. It's a completion. 21. Maybe this happened on the 21st at the cusp energy. Um, communicate. It's a whole new world. 
for the moon, for the cancers, emotionally, you feel on top of the world even. Ah, for the Capricorn, the devil, mm. the fear, the shadow of the mouse. Mm. Shining the light. Look, look, look. Okay, this is very interesting. I'm saying this. Let me make sure you guys can see it too. I know I hold it over too far sometimes. I gotta pay it. So look, look. So going into this cave of wonders, right? This whole new world, this whole new experience with the same flashlight and finding that it was just the shadows. But something was, this is still being controlled. Oh, the devil, Capricorn and Libra. Ooh. Ooh, coming in quickly. Kale wands in reverse. So now we're pulling, I'm telling you with the Leo energy because it's 725. Someone's very angry. And someone, uh, so this is trying to rule with fear and scare you. The little guidebook, Daniel. Hmm. <laughs> King of wands. This is the young energy, not emperor. So it could definitely be a younger Leo. Um, maybe Sagittarius, but Antenna Wands. Ooh, this is like doing a whole bunch of work. I see the dragons here. So maybe this is very specific. It's a Sagittarius Capricorn with that cusp energies. Libras, Libra Moon. Maybe you have a Libra Moon or uh, Antenna Wands. Someone is doing all this work. And maybe that's the thing. They're very demanding, controlling, trying to roll with fear, um, feeling like they're doing a heavy burden. This is out, not in their power. Like they're losing control. Sagittarius, losing control of the business, of the legacy, of the money. Ha! <laughs> Capricorn's trying to control. Very interesting. 1010, Libra. I saw 1011 a lot too. Um, someone else is doing all the work. And so it's like letting go of it. Someone's willing to just, the 910, even a Virgo, willing to just take the nine, have the extra, but not have that added responsibility. King of coins, Virgo, masculines. Um, could be Capricorn as well, maybe even the Taurus. But this is, see, we've got the greed card again. we got the four coins plus the king of coins in reverse. Pop goes the weasel because the weasel goes pop. Third base. This looks like a weasel to me. <laughs> a greedy weasel. The warnings right here. They're, they're feeling in lack mentality. They're losing. They lose the business. They lose the, they lose the money. Losey, losey. And feeling like they got a hoard. They got to. Mm. Yeah. And then there's this depression, sadness. And instead of staying up all night, they're sleeping all day. And the tower comes. Wow, you got the the five nine again. And the nine five. Nine five nine guys. Libra was getting that a lot too. So this is being able to just sleep, not worrying about but I, I see that as a depression of sleeping all day, and then the tower comes in because someone doesn't get their wishes fulfilled, and this is because of this depression, because of feeling unsatisfied. Um, emotionally even, there's the tower. It crumbles. The kingdom. I feel like the trees. It has something to do with the trees. Maybe the tree wisdom will give more uh, soulmate in reverse. Two of cups. Fool. Not Someone does not want to be a fool anymore. Uh, would be on time. 24, 25. Oh, boy. Uh, they're moving on, moving forward. Look, it's like graduation. Look, they're like, we're free. Moving forward, it's done with some soulmate. And this could even be something that, you know what I mean? Like, see this, there was a soulmate uh, that was back be during school time or something, right? And you guys are moving in different directions or moving forward even towards an emperor, towards the kingdom, towards the boss. Leo, 
soulmate fool not gonna there it's like leos are not gonna be foolish or they are feeling they're feeling heartbroken over a soulmate i'm just saying that was how that other one went see moving forward three ones but then there's a wait a pause then there's a pause that's how life is it's I see this new thing this sun even this leo energy this this breaking free of this restriction of this, this schooling even um but then there's this weight on where to go next and looking at all the options frog look the reflection what's coming through is a reflection a mirror there is uh illusion with this Okay, especially dealing with um, someone not having moderation. There's overindulgence of drinking. I'm seeing this with temperance, and it could be Sagittarius energies, but I'm just saying that there is there is some illusion with these options because there is overindulgence. So, someone knowing that and trusting their intuition about the communication, the communication, the mercury, the messages. Hmm. Temperance in reverse. It's not having moderation. And I'm sending it over by the Gemini and the uh, Aries. This is wanting this is wanting to get together and have a party. See, someone got uninvited though. The eels. Novocaine for the soul. Eel. The turtle. Very interesting. Look how watery this is, too. I mean, yeah, it's the cups, right? This is a get together, a party. Something happened. I feel like someone, they leave a lover, <laughs> a Gemini or whatever, just a, a lover, the Cancer. I feel like that's where there was a three. There was like someone looking at options of other lovers and there was heartbreak. Maybe it had to do with a reunion, a get together, a party, at a party. Then say, someone saying justice, fairness, and balance. So Libra energy with the moon and the cancer sign, right? So there is very interesting trying to have think, keep things balanced. Bear and raccoon. It takes a lot more of these to weigh, you know, to equal it out. So justice is good. It's a brand new beginning, especially for the Cancer moons or the Libra moons or whatever, the Pisces. Um, three nine, Pisces. Um, three twenty one, even. Having fairness and balance, that, you know, in this whole new beginning. Done fighting uh, with another Libra that it, there's might be controlling with fear, toxic stuff, no fighting. Now taking action to Sagittarius energy pulling a lot with this, this Libra. So maybe you have Libra moon or Sagittarius moon. Look, there's, there is choice. This is still a choice, but action is being taken. I'm seeing at that full moon or dealing with that. Do you see the dragon with this? King of cups. See, so action is being taken towards something, a, a king who is very loving and compassionate. This king of wands right here is upside down and being a dick. This king of cups, cancer, Pisces, sp scorpionic, whatever, being loving, compassionate, um, feeling like they're doing a whole bunch of work at your home. They're even doing work on your home. They work at your home. They Or you do. They work in your home. They work for your company. It's a home business. Something didn't end. It's Scorpionic. It's a Scorpio. Yep, more specific. It's a Scorpio. Virgo Scorpios. Here we go again. Something did not end or transform. It's not over yet. There is bad. So dealings with Scorpio or a death is bad memories. Um. There's trauma. The noose. Oh, man. And the narwhal, bad memories about death, trauma, self-inflicted stuff even. 
Man. Guys, I got to share. Both, I got Libra and Aquarius. That, um, that took their own life in my own family dynamic. And so those things haunt you. You know? The tower, a lot of Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn. Getting free. Getting free from this karmic loop, this never-ending cycle of this tower comes in and frees. Frees you. Maybe it's really cutting. Maybe it's harsh. Maybe it's very cuss words from a Scorpio or a Libra. Um, and it was someone you thought that was a soulmate, a child even. It's just young. Could even be an Aries. I'm seeing that Scorpio Pisces. Yeah, four, six, Aries, the newt. Okay, I'm going to end it with that, guys. Um, whoa, 31 minutes in. So, stick around. Uh, Libras especially, Sun Rising, all the rest of you signs. Somehow it's interlinked. Like I said, I did a big, this is a big reading. And if you're not dealing with any of these other signs in your family, in your energy, um, this isn't for you. And that's how it goes. Thank you all so much and uh, bye-bye.